Hello there and welcome back to this video about the bootstrap view and in this video we want to speak about the collapse. The collapse is the way where you can show and hidden stuff and it's a way you can do it uh, very smooth and just look pretty good. I'll show how you can do it and uh, how you can toggle it. So before we beginning to code I will ask you about to subscribe to this channel. You can do it in the right corner below and press the thing. Then you are very nice and of course you are nice if you don't do it. But uh, what I mean is I would appreciate it if you subscribe to this channel. Like this video if you want. And if you have any questions, please make a comment below. And uh, if, you, if you need the source code here, it will be in the, in the GitHub. You can find the, find the links uh, below in the description. And I think that's the, all the information you need before we are starting to code. So let's begin to type some code here. The first we, we're going to do is uh, create the, the bottom. And uh, we will create a V toggle. And for this, we want to say the collapse number one, and the variance would be primal. And I'll just say toggle collapse primal. And then we need to build the collapse. And the collapse need the ID and we need to say the collapse whoops number one so we have the id collapse one it should be the equal with with this if you don't have the same uh, ids then it's don't know which area we are speaking about to collapse inside we want to a card inside the card i want to make a p here and uh, with the p tag we want the card text Yes, and we just say first collapse content. So let's go in for the browser now and see what we're working with. You can see we have it here. It's open up and now it's going away. So it's very smooth and it's working pretty well. The next we, we're gonna do, I want to say the class inside here. Uh, mark and bottom two, that's fine for me. And then we go in down below here. So what we we gonna do now? It's copy the first one up here, and copy down here, and we can just call it the uh, collapse two, and uh, call it two here. And what I want to demonstrate now is how we can create and collapse inside and a collapse here. So I will just do this one and call this for collapse three. And collapse three, this is the number three collapse content, number two collapse content. And we're going back for the browser here. You can see now we have this move one here. We're going up to open this one and collapse it up. I can just put it down below and it's, it's working pretty well. So now we can just build a collapse inside a collapse. And that's working pretty smooth and I will uh, recommend you to do this if you need that to do something like uh, you have a question uh, QA uh, question and answer that could be uh, how could I log in a new website boom and then you're just saying uh, you need to fill out the information here and, and click on the login and then you have something what is the login and then you have an explanation on what is the login and something like that. I know this sounds pretty stupid, but yeah, it's up to you how you can work with that. The last thing we want to speak about here is uh, how we can have a group of collapse. So the idea is you have a, a multi collapse, and when you click on the one of the collapse, the all other in the group should be disappeared, and that's what we want to do now. So I want to have the B collapse. And we call it the ID. Uh, let's say let's say we call it uh, collapse. Whoops. Group, and that's fine for me. And then we have the button. I just steal the button up here. 
And what we're gonna do here, we gonna collapse the collapse group and throttle collapse group. And inside here, we want the B, uh, B card. And this have no body. And the class should be mark and body one. And inside we need the B card uh, header. And the header tag should be header tag, should be header. And the class should be P1. And inside here we want the B button. And the button should be block and B B struggle and and by it should be Nico. I'll just call it tap one. I think yeah, I think we just say uh, Let's call it tap one here too. I don't like the other word. Then we need the B collapse. And inside this we need ID tab one. And we call it the collapse. My group, that's what we want to do. And we save one. And uh, B card body, oops, tab 61. Let's just go in by the browse to see if this is working. So that's working. You can see it's struggle here. That's fine. And then we basically just need to copy uh, this one uh, twice. And we just call this for tab 2. Tap two and tap two and tap six two and tap three, tap three, tap three and tap six three. And the disable for the other one should be gone because we don't want of of those. So let's go back for the browser. We reload it and we can see this is the text one. Tap two and tap three, and we can pull together. That's how you can work with the groups in the tab and the collapse. And I really hope you enjoy this video. It's, it's pretty simple and it's pretty fast, but uh, it's good to know how you can use the collapse and how it's working. So I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel. You can do it in the right corner below and press that thing. I'll be very happy if you do this. And then you can hit the like button if you like this video and share it with your friends. And of course, I hope you want to, to put it on your playlist so you always can find this video. If you need the documentation for this, the source code, you can go in for my uh, GitHub profile where you can follow me. It uh, will be stay in the description. And don't uh, hold back to smash the comments if you have any questions to me. Thank you and have a nice day. See you next time. Bye.